Hello my lovely Capricorns, welcome to your reading for September 2021. I hope this reading finds you well. This is a general reading for you Capricorn, it's a reading for Capricorn Sun, Rising and Moon sign. If you'd like a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there that will be specific to you. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up, it helps the algorithm get my videos out there which ultimately helps me bring more videos to you. I also really enjoy reading all your comments so thank you for that. I've been sitting here meditating on your energy, the energy of Capricorn, the energy of Capricorn and I feel I want to say to you it is a time of, there's a time of completions around you there's a time of completing projects, completing thought patterns, completing ways of being, a job, whatever it is. There's just this completion, this sense of completion around you, this sense of reassessing so that you can move forward. It's as if I want to say to you that um, it's time to sort of wrap everything up and tie that little bow and move it over here because there's more things that you want to move on to over here. Um, it's about being true to yourself. It's about really analysing, really looking within. What is it that you're wanting? How are you wanting to move forward? What do you want to fill your days with? What do you want to fill your life with? What isn't working for you? What changes are you wanting to bring in? And, and don't get me wrong, I don't feel like what has happened in the past has been a bad thing. It's gotten you here, but it's now time to release some of that, to complete it. Not even release it. Um, I'm, they're, they're correcting me here. It, it's about completing it. A job well done, complete it, complete it. Some of you, it's the completion of a study, of a course, um, the completion of working towards a promotion the completion of getting your house ready for sale I'm hearing so that you can move um, those sorts of completions they're not a bad thing they served you they served you well but there's a lot of things now in your life that need to be looked at truthfully being honest with yourself are you staying in the status quo because it's safe because you're too fearful of moving forward of seeing what else there is in life so they're questions that you can ask yourself here. This month, it's going, to be, it's going to be stirred for you this month. I'm going to draw a card here from the Archetypes card or deck, Oracle deck. Let's see what they have to say before we start your reading. Let's see what theme, there it is, what theme is going to come up for you. Okay. Alethia, I think I hope I'm saying that correctly. Alethia. I'm going to read what this says, um, but I this Alethia speaks of truth. Alethia speaks of seeing things in a realistic way, not shying away from what the truth is. Let me find it. I know it's one of the last cards. Let's see. There it is. Okay, let's have a look. It's interesting because it's also yin and yang, isn't it? It's yin and yang. Hold it this way. Our soul recognises the truth when someone speaks it. A cool wave of relief washes over the room and all the facts and figures in the world fall by the wayside. Such is the power of Alethea. It has an undeniable resonance that goes beyond the rational. We can also recognise Alethea by its contagiousness. When we hear someone speak the truth, we see the truth within ourselves and are more likely to tell our own story. So it's time to tell your own story. It's time to say what, what's completed, what are you moving on to. The Alethea card requires us to step toward an act of truth. This might look like a conversation, a gesture, a poetic act or a ritual that honours the unveiling of what's been concealed. 
What's been concealed in you, my lovely Capricorns? Reclaiming your own truth is a way to reclaim your vital energy, health and sense of belonging in the world. Truth has its own wings. Set it free. So that's interesting, isn't it? Because it's it's really what I've been, what I have channeled for you at the beginning of this, um, of your reading. But it also requires you to be truthful to yourself because that has its own rewards. Not being in denial about situations in your life or situation in your life. You're being called to be true to yourself. Or, you know, I also feel like someone might be around you that is going to speak the truth and you may not want to hear it. But it has its own energy because it's going to filter down into your psyche and you will process it in your own time as well. So there's no shying away from the truth. Okay. I'm just creating a Celtic cross here, Capricorn, to see. They're really keen to get this message out to you. They're really throwing the cards out here. Wow. Okay. There's a whole lot there. I'll just pick that up from the, ah, from the ground. You've got a whole lot here, which I will keep and I will read for you at the end of, end of your reading. So you've got quite a few. I'll read those. I won't forget. I'll give you those messages as well because clearly you're needing to hear them. All right, so we've got the two of pentacles. It's in the reverse. So what is it that you're having a hard time balancing out? What is it that you're having a hard time reviewing? What is it, you know, is someone stopping you from thinking certain things or, or coming to some conclusions? Um, is there a reluctance in you in, in balancing for some of you, you are juggling a few, quite a few things and you're exhausted. There's this exhaustion, I'm just getting a sense of that, coming through um, where you're just doing everything for everybody else, making sure everybody else is all right. But what about you? It's breaking your balance. It's time to bring that back into alignment uh, in September. In, in September, it's, and that's your truth. That's your truth. In September, you're going to think, no, that's enough. That's enough. It's time now for me to um, think about me. Where do I want to go? What do I want to do? And start pulling back your energy because it, it also gives you wings. Truth, truth is your enlightenment, is your, your freedom. The, the, the door to the cage is open. You can fly out, discover who you are. You've also got the Prince of Cups. So this is this is new love coming to you. This can be self-love coming to you. This is romance coming to you, messages coming to you. There's something that's set in motion here. I feel like, you know, when you discover who you are, it's certainly, if you're looking for a relationship, it's going to open the door to, uh, to finding someone that's going to stand by you as your equal as well. But there's messages coming to you from a distance. If you're in a relationship, it's, it's when you discover yourself and have your own self-respect, it's going to add another level to, to a relationship, to the relationship, um, or a new relationship, or a work in, or a work relationship. I'm hearing if you're not appreciated or you're not treated correctly at work, um, when you discover your own truth, that's going to change. When you start changing and shifting what is within you, it's going to it's going to change externally as well because you've got the page of fire here. This is about you feeling quite passionate about the changes you want to bring in. You're not ready to bring them in just yet, but you're certainly thinking about them. You're talking about them. It's a point of conversation. This is a igniting of passion, which is also linked to this new love that's coming in for you. Which is great because you've got the wheel of fortune. It's your turn. 
the wheel of fortune's turning in your favor. It's this is this is the cycle of life that's coming around to you, where it's your you have the opportunity here to discover who you are. You have the opportunity here to push forward on your truth, not living other people's truths, but living your own truth and being able to move forward with that truth. Because the stars have aligned for you, my lovely Capricorn. The stars have aligned for you because what is yours will come to you. If there's going to be hesitancy, if there's going to be resistance, then that's going to really put up a wall against you, between you and what is coming to you. So let's not water it down. Let's embrace what it is that's being offered to you once you do this work, once you discover your truth, once you start your journey, once you give yourself flight, I want to say, like a, like the eagle soars the, the currents. Give yourself flight. Give yourself freedom. And then the universe will bring in those gifts for you. I like that. There's the gifts. The world opens up for you. This is everything. This is opening up on a global level. For some of you, it's opening up on a global level. For some of you, it's travel. And I know with COVID, it's a bit difficult. But, but there's travel um, coming up for you as well. Um, but anything that you want to put in place, it's going to fall into place for you. I need to draw a card that's telling me here. Um, the world is... The world is your oyster. What do you want to create? What do you want to um, bring into your life? What is it that you're wanting to begin? Oh, there we go. The five of fire. Five of fire. Really get that. Fire in your belly, I'm saying, I want to say to you, get that fire in your belly because there's, you're unstoppable. Whatever you want to bring into your life, it's there, but you're need, you're, you really need to find the fire in your belly. You need to really create what it is you're wanting to bring in. Remain focused on your end goal. Remain focused on what you're wanting to bring in. Very important because you're going to achieve fabulous results as of that come from it you've also got the wish card so it tells it tells me that september really is about you about what you want to create what your self-talk is like your affirmation list um, what do you want to bring into your life what are your deepest desires what is your truth it always comes back to what is your truth speak your truth go after what you believe in not what others want you to believe in so really, you need, re, need that focus. What do you want me? Okay, give me, uh, you know, you are needing that focus. Affirmation board, clarity, bringing in what you're wanting to bring in. Forward movement, my lovely Capricorn. Being the seer, seeing the future. Seeing the future seeing what it is you're wanting to create, seeing what it is you're wanting to bring in. Your vision, it's about having a far-reaching vision, not a vision of oh, what do I want for tomorrow, what do I want for next week, but what do I want for the rest of my life? What do I want to bring in for the rest of my life? How do I want to live my life? Who do I want to be? What vision do I have? What ex big, expansive vision? What sense of intuition? What's my intuition telling me? I know I've got this, this good things are coming to me. What do I need to put in place? Find that stillness. Find that truth. Dig deep, my lovely Capricorns, because you've got the wish card. September's going to be an absolutely fabulous month for you to dig deep. You've also got the tower, and that means releasing and letting go of old beliefs, old patterns, old ways of being getting releasing anything that's not serving you so as you discover your truth you're going to also discover the lies that you've been carrying and you know we all we all deceive ourselves when i say lies that's dramatic isn't it they, they gave me a dramatic word here but it's it's we deceive ourselves don't we and so it's about recognizing that well why did i make that decision did i make it out of fear 
what led me to do that? What led me to live my life the way I did? What led me to accept a job that I knew I could do better, better than that with? Um, be with someone that doesn't deserve me, doesn't treat me correctly, doesn't, you know, why did I do that out of fear of not being loved? What, what things, untruths are you needing to release to find yourself? Because it's going to create this, okay, um, you know, let's balance it out. Let's collect my, collect information, collect data. You're going to collect, you're not making decisions in haste. You're really going to look at, um, in September, what is needing, you know, what's there? How am I going to move forward? There's a lot of thought going on. There's a lot of toing and froing going on. There's a lot of decisions to be made. And you do make them. You do make them. Yeah, and it, it, it heralds a, this is your, your suit, isn't it? This heralds um, a new, you know, earth is pentacles. A new start. This opens up new possibilities for you. As far as in terms of work, job the way you work, the way you're interacting with, with others, with people. Capricorn, you're drawing the line in the sand, whereas before your boundaries were really hazy, you're really drawing that line in the sand for, and it might not be that you've got this haziness in, in this line, it's not it's unclear in all aspects of your life, but there's an aspect, or some of you, it's all aspects of your life, where that line in the sand has been smudged it's about resetting it in order for you to move forward resetting that line in the sand and then you can move forward into your future which is going to be abundant it's going to bring to you everything that you you want all your desires are going to be fulfilled what do you want You've got the wish card. Write your affirmations out. Be clear about what you want and, and know and believe that that's there for you. That's coming for you. You know, this Six of Cups speaks of there, there were happy times in the past. It hasn't all been gloom and doom. Yeah, there has been happy times. And you reflect on those. But here you've got this person standing there, this guide, this your spiritual guide standing there over, overlooking it, allowing memories to come up. What brought you joy? What did you want to do as a child? That's what they're telling me here. What did you want to do as a child? Because, you know, I just feel like some of you are asking this question, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what my purpose is. What am I meant to be doing? Um, reflect back to when you were younger. What, was the, what did you want to do? What were your dreams? Because there's... The, the acknowledgement and recognizing and moving towards those dreams and those uh, per, like that life purpose is going to bring to you um, prosperity. There's birth of new ideas. There's a birth of new you. The Empress is very fertile. It's very full of everything that you want in your life. It brings everything that you're wanting in your life. There, it's also going, it's going to involve travel here. I think I said that to you earlier. There's some sort of travel here. There's travel cross water coming up for you. New learning. This speaks of new learning coming up for you as well. So this, this, these cards that flew out are really looking at what you've got to look forward to when you discover your truth and your direction. Follow your intuition. Your intuition is going to be really um, strong. So don't deny it. Don't go into get into your head and go, well, how can I? That's ridiculous. Well, what's the point of that? How am I going to achieve that? Don't worry about that. Just know that it's there for you. And and if you feel like you need to do a particular thing or go and go home in a particular road, down a particular road, or go and eat at a particular restaurant or whatever it is, just do it, even if it doesn't make sense to you, because that's going to also bring in new love for you. It's new love, new that's coming for you, my lovely Capricorns. If you're single, if you're in a relationship, it's it's going to strengthen that relationship, take it to that next level. But there's there's romance, there's love, there's also new self love. You're going to feel so different about yourself. There's a new way of feeling about yourself. You've also got the moon, and the moon speaks of your subconscious. What are your dreams? What are your desires? What do you want to achieve? What do you want to do? 
So there's a real um, investigative energy that's here in September in, in helping you redirect your path, redirect your journey. But it's so important that you remain truthful to yourself because it's going to bring a lot of work, you know, there's that self you know, this this came this came together. So to me is you've got to put in effort with that self growth, self work. Really digging deep, really thinking about what you're wanting, what direction you want to move in, what you want to bring into your reality. I'm going to um, draw a card from Divine Abundance. Let's see how we're going to summarize this. Humility. Humility is so important, isn't it? Humility is so important. Allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. You see, I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. And you're going to get that divine help through your um, opening up your spirituality, opening up your sense of intuition as well. And getting assistance, not just from the divine. The divine can also use human bodies to bring to you uh, assistance. So it can be people in this third dimension as well that cross your path that will help you discover your truth, discover your path. There is the help that's coming in around you. And be, be humble, you know, accept it with humility. It's about not... Not bringing change in like a bull at a gate and, and not worrying about other, how other people are going to be impacted. It's about being humble and understanding that you are on this journey of truth and self-discovery in September. But it's also about considering people in your life as well. Let them down gently. Bring them along with you. Do it, do it slowly. Do it patiently. Do it with love and truth and honour for the self and, and carry them with you. That's really lovely. I like that reading for you in September, my lovely Capricorns. Um, I wish you many, many blessings. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. If you like the video please give me a thumbs up because it does help my uh, it help my video to get out there as well uh, which helps me to bring more videos to you